Hi. Hi, good evening. Hi, Anna. How are you, Anna? I'm fine, teacher, and you? I'm great, Anna, thank you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, teacher. <laughs> Very good. Hi, Aide. Hi, Hector. How's everybody tonight? Everybody okay? Maybe they cannot hear me. <laughs> <laughs> So how was your day, Anna? Um, it was normal because I stay in my home I, and I make a lot of um, homework. All right, like in chores in the house. Okay. Yes. All right, very good. That's nice. So you didn't have to go out. Mm, no, no. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> because I. I make different things in my house, All cleaning right. my house, uh, wash the, uh, the clothing. All uh, right, yeah. A also, of, uh -huh. my, also, also my brother uh, visited to me and okay. I cooking for, for him. Oh, nice. Yes. All right, that's nice. Very it's good. For this reason, uh, now I stayed all day in my house. All right, that's good. That's better, Anna. So you're safe. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, very good. All right. Uh, hi, Navy. Can you hear me? Good night, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Excellent. Very nice. Hector, can you hear me now? Yes, teacher. Hello. Hi, Hector. How are you? Fine. How are you? Me too, fine teacher. Excellent, very good. I, I'm just excited about it. Why? Ingress. Oh, because, because yeah. of what you told me yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but, I'm sorry. Uh, we are so, so, no, don't worry. Thank you. Uh, but we are so, uh, how can I say, tranquilo? Uh, we, we're calm. We're okay with it, yeah? Yeah, we are okay because we know that he, he's resting. Right. So it's a better place. Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you for sharing that with me yesterday. Very good. All right, guys. So you know what? I was um, talking to, well, I found out about the exact topic where you guys stopped. So today I'm going to start with relative clauses, which it still belongs to section three. All right. So that's like the last grammatical point I'm going to cover with you for section three and then we can move on, all right? So we're gonna uh, study relative clauses today. All right, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you a PowerPoint presentation and then I'm going to share with you uh, some exercises, okay? Okay. All okay. right, so this is, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take you back here. Let me just, um, hi, good evening, how are you? I'm glad you can join us today. Very good. Hi. Hello. Jose Mariano is coming in. We also have Ana Gloria. Hi, Ana Gloria. And Andrea also. Hi, Super high. Excellent. Very good. Mireya, hello. And Andrea also. Right. Okay. <clears throat> just give me a second, guys. I just need to um, get this here. All right, let's see. Um, all right, so I was just telling your classmates for uh, the rest of you that just joined us that we are going to talk about relative clauses. We're gonna talk about relative clauses that this topic is still belongs to section three. According to your teacher, he told me that um, we, you guys have studied until 3.5. The rest of it is just exercises and videos that you can see. So I'm gonna show you guys the 3.9, which is relative clauses. Just give me a second, because this is like taking a while to load up, all right? All right. Just give me a quick second here. <laughs> All 
All right, so here we go. Uh, I'm gonna show you this. This is from the platform anyway. All right, so I guess you can see it later, but I just wanna share it with you so we understand it together. And this is what I want you, well, uh, this is what I want us to look at here. All right, so relative, can you guys see? Can you yes. see guys? Yes, okay. So we have relative clauses. And remember when we talk about relative clauses, we have to use relative pronouns. And we have three relative pronouns. Can you tell me which ones they are? What? Uh, who? 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 Who's better? Who? Yes. Another one? That. That. Which. Very good. That and? Which. Which. Very good. Those are the ones. I mean, there are many more. All right, because we have relative clauses of time and we have other type of uh, relative clauses that we use other types of relative pronouns. But today we're going to use three, who, which, and that, okay? Let's see, Ana Molina, can you do me a favor? Can you read the first one? It says, he's an actor. Okay, uh, use who or that for people. He's an actor, we want to Oscar. Mm -hmm. He's an actor, who or that, want to Oscars. Thank you, Anna. Very good. All right. So as Anna just read, all right, it says use who or that for people. Okay. So whenever you talk about people, you need to use who or you can even use that. Okay. But not any other one. All right. Now, what you do, if you notice um, on the first sentence, it says he's an actor. The second sentence, it says he want to Oscars. So what you do when you talk about relative clauses, you join those two sentences and you make a longer one, all right? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, teacher. All yeah. right, very good. Okay, so here what they did is they took, he's an actor, the sentence number one, Sahira, good evening. And then we have, he won two Oscars. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, all right? Now they joined it together and they made one sentence. Now. This is, I know that you know this, but this is important for you to see it. And you can use either who, or you can either use that, but not both relative pronouns in one sentence. That wouldn't make sense, all right? So you either say, he's an actor who won two Oscars, or he's an actor that won two Oscars. And you're saying exactly the same thing. You're conveying the same idea. All right. Uh, if you All know, right. can you can you tell me here, guys, what happened on the second sentence? What are the changes that you see? The uh, pronoun. The relative pronoun. And how? What else? The subject. All right. Also, it's omitted on the second part. It's not anymore. Another one. Another change. Is the 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 large and the large form. So the punctuation? The punctuation, very good, the punctuation disappeared, nice. all right? Very good. So what you do, there are many little changes that you have to make in order to use a relative clause properly, okay? So what you do is first you have to omit the punctuation because you're making one sentence out of two, all right? So you have to omit the period no more period, all right? Then you also omit the subject of the second sentence or of the second clause, all right? He is not there anymore. And then you add the relative pronoun who or that. And then the rest stays the same. He's an actor who won two Oscars, all right? Very good. Ana Gloria, can you, give, can you read for us this um, second part of the ex example, please? Yes, it's, it's a movie. It's a star, it stars Kate Winslet. Mm -hmm. In the second form is, it's a movie. Wish that, or uh, wish or that. Mm -hmm. It starts Kate Winslet. Thank you. All right, now, uh, what are they talking about? Are they talking about Kim, uh, Kate Winslet or are they talking about the movie? Are they talking about the movie? About movie. They're, going, they're talking about the movie. And movie is a person or an object? An object. An object, an object. okay. Object. So the relative pronoun that we are using is? Which or which that? Which or that. that. Very good. Now, you cannot use who 
because yeah. you're not talking about Kate. You're talking about the movie. You're That's talking true. about the That's object true. or the thing, all right? So therefore, we have to use which. Or if you forget, you can use that, and it's the same. And the rules apply the same. You omit the punctuation, no more period, all right? You add the relative pronoun, which or that, and then you also omit the subject on the second clause or the second sentence. And then you join it together and you make one long sentence, okay? Do you guys understand that? Yes. Yes? yes. yes. All right, yes. very good, okay. Let me see who else do I have here that I haven't greeted. All right, Hector is there. Very good. I see. All right, very good. Now, Andrea, can you, hi, Andrea. Can you, Andrea, give me, um, give me two sentences, like similar to the ones that we have here, Andrea. You can say, for example, I don't know, he's a student or he's a classmate, all right? And then you stop and then you can say, he, I don't know, he speaks very well. All right, similar to my example, Andrea, and then someone else can make one whole sentence. He like the woman who lives next door. All right, so, all right. So in that case, okay, very good. Uh, let, let, that's okay, Andrea. Let's try to make another one here. A ver, I'm going to say this to you guys, and let's see how you can come up with it. I say, um, he's a student, all right? That's sentence number one. And my second sentence, I can say, he speaks English very well. How can we join those two sentences and make one? Oh. Mm -hmm. Tell me the whole sentence, the new sentence with the information I gave you. Who speaks English very well or who can speak English very well? He's a student who, all right, speaks English very well or who can speak English very well. All right. Very good. So let's let's continue here. I'm, we're going to I'm going to keep on playing this so you guys can see it and listen to it. On two Oscars. Use which or that for things. It's a movie. It stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie which stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie that stars Kate Winslet. We want you to know what relative clauses do. They join two sentences together and give information about something in the main clause. All right, I want you to pay attention to this, all right? I know you know this, all right? It says one of the things that relative clauses do is that they join two sentences together. When we begin learning English or when we start like, you know, making sentences, we make separate sentences. Once we hit to the intermediate level, like you guys are in right now, your, your sentences flow faster or flow better. That's because you're joining sentences together and you know how to do it, all right? So therefore, this is what helps you a lot to do uh, when we use relative clauses. You join two sentences together, all right? So your speaking sounds more fluent, sounds better, sounds less learned, all right? And it sounds more natural, okay? Another thing that the relative clauses do, they give information about something on the first part of your sentence, okay? I'm gonna go back here, and I just want you to see this here. Here it says, he's an actor, he won two Oscars. You can say this and it's okay, but if you join them with relative clauses or relative pronouns, you're giving information about who? Who are you giving information about? Uh huh. But this is the extra information. Who are you talking about? The the actor. The actor. Yes, you're talking about the actor. So that means that this relative clause modifies the noun. All right, modifies the person that you were mentioning before. All right. You can say he's an actor. Uh -huh, but what about it? Okay, what about the actor? And you say, ah, who won two Oscars? Oh, that one, you know, the, uh, give me a name of an actor. I don't know, Brad Pitt, 
Uh, you're talking about Brad Pitt, you know, so you give me more information about this actor. Here, you give me more information about the movie. All right, so the relative clauses do two special things. They not only join two sentences, but they can also give you extra information about the first part of your sentence. Do you understand that? Do you guys yes. understand? Yes, all right, yes. let's continue here. Join two sentences together and give information about something in the main clause. Relative clauses are joined by relative pronouns, who, which, that. Who is used to join clauses about people. Which is used to join clauses about things. That is used to join clauses about people and things. Remember that the uh, relative pronoun that is a special because you can use it for either who or which. All right, so you can use it for either or, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Hope this topic wasn't so complicated. All right. We're gonna stop that one here, and I'm gonna start. And we're gonna start sharing the other uh, presentation I have for you here. I'm just gonna take you back here. Can you guys see it? Yes. Okay. So you have the relative clauses, and it's exactly the same, but explained in a different way. All right. Relative clauses are formed by joining two sentences. All right. So when someone says to you, relative clauses, it has to come to your head. It comes. It has to come to your mind that you're joining two sentences. That's what they are doing. When you hear relative clauses, you say, oh, okay. So they are taking two sentences and making one big or long sentence all right let's see this one who wants to read the first example which is peter a volunteer to read that please yes okay peter go ahead go ahead peter is the student plus he comes from glasgow mm -hmm. Peter is the student who comes from glasgow all right so what is the extra information you're giving me about peter What is the information that you're giving me about Peter? He's from Glasgow. That he, is. That he comes, that he comes from Glasgow, uh, Glasgow, right? That's the extra information you're telling me about him. All right, so that's, that's what relative clauses do. Thank you. Uh, someone else to read number two, the books. The books are on the table, that's, they are mine. Mm -hmm. The books which uh, are on the table are mine. So what are you telling me about the books? They are on the table. They are on the table that are yours. Yeah, all right, that are mine. <laughs> right, so you're telling me two things about the book, all right, about the books. One, that they're on the table. All right, you're being a specific. The ones that are on the table are mine, all right? Don't touch them, all right? Those books are mine. The, the books which are on the table are mine, okay? Very good, thank you. Uh, someone else to read the, sec the, the third sentence or the third example. I did just meet Tom. I just um, met. I just met Tom. Met, mm -hmm. met Tom. Um, um, Tom seemed to be a nice guy. Mm -hmm. I did just meet who seems a nice guy. All right, very good. I just met Tom who seems to be a nice guy. All right. So what are you telling me about Tom? He seems like a nice, to be a nice guy. He seems to be a nice guy, right? Now, if you notice, you're using it, you can use relative clauses in any tense. I mean, because here you say, I've just met Tom. That's present perfect, all right? And the other one, he comes from, Peter is a student. He comes from Glasgow, all right? So here is simple present. In this sentence, it's present perfect. It doesn't matter. Relative clauses can be used just about anything, all right? The other sentence, uh -huh. can, can someone read this one for me? Okay. I love to visit uh, London, plus okay. it is a beautiful city. I all love right. to visit London, which is a beautiful city. All right, very good, all right, yes. Uh, what are you telling me about visiting London? It's a beautiful city. It's a city. beautiful, it's a beautiful, beautiful city. city. Very good. All right. Very good. Guys, can you give me one quick second, please? Give me one okay. second. All right. Okay. Please. Thank you. Okay.
Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Thank you. All right. So do you understand what I'm talking about? Yes. All right. Very good. Let's continue here then. Yes, teacher. All right. Okay. Remember, can someone read this one for me? When we join for whatever, we have to omit the noun random possessive that the relative displays. In the previous sentence, he, they, he, they, come, it. Right. Relative clauses go right after the noun, then they modify. Excellent. Thank you, Ana Gloria. Very good. So here, when we join two sentences with a relative pronoun, remember who, which or that, we have to omit the noun. The noun from the second sentence, all right? Well, I'm gonna take you back here so you remember this one. For example, he, uh, Peter is a student. Peter is a student, he comes from Glasgow, all right? You omitted he, you omitted the, the other pronoun, all right? You, you replace it by the relative pronoun, all right? You have to omit it. It says, um, when we join two sentences with a relative pronoun or adverb, we have to omit the noun, or the pronoun or the possessive or whatever you're talking about, the relative, the relative pronoun replaces, okay? So in the first one was he, for example, Peter or London or Tom or they, the books, all right? So you have to replace that. You cannot say it. Usted no puede hacer esto. You cannot say Peter is a student who he comes from Glasgow, all right? You can't do that, all right? You have to omit the he. Okay, now relative clauses go right after the noun they modify. Vamos de regreso aquí. This is the relative pronoun. This is the mm -hmm. noun they modify. Peter is a student. Es, todo esto es el noun they are modifying. Peter is a student who comes from Glasgow. All right, so this one modifies all these here. Okay, so the, uh, the relative pronoun falls right after the noun they are modifying because they're giving us more information, okay? All right, very good. Defining relative clauses. Uh, relative clauses, the initial information about a general term or expression. Defining relative clauses are not putting commas. I talked to the men who gave you the news. No punctuation, no commas, no period, nothing. Only the relative pronoun. I read the letter which came this morning. No punctuation, no commas, no period, no pronoun. You use the relative pronoun which because it replaced the rest of the uh, sentence that we probably had before. Now, in number one, it says, I talked to the men who gave you the news. Which men? What, what are we saying about these men? The one gave the news. Yeah, the one who gave you the news. All right. So I talk to the men. If you come, for example, if you come to me one day, all right, and you say, oops, and you say, Jessica, I talk to the men. I'm going to look at you like, what? Which men? Uh -huh. Which men? There are many men. All right. I'll say, which men? Ana Molina. And she's going to say, oh, the one who gave me the uh, who gave me the bad news or the good news or whatever. I'm like, ah, OK. All right. So I understand what you're talking about. That's why relative uh, pronouns or relative clauses are important because they give me more information. OK, about okay. the noun that we were okay. referring to. Let's continue here then. If you have any questions, please ask, okay? Okay. All right, remember, use who to refer uh, to people and which to refer to animals or things. 
that can replace who and which in defining relative clauses. Did you know the girl who or that came to the party yesterday? The book which or that I'm reading is very interesting, all right? So again, we're talking about a person. If we use who, we talk about a person. If we use which, we talk about a thing or we can use that for everything and it's okay, okay? Do you guys have okay. questions? Do you have any questions? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, now I have questions for you then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good, let's see. I'm gonna show you this so we can uh, keep on talking about it here. All right, this is what I want you to do. Can you guys please take a picture of this? You're gonna take three pictures, okay? Take a picture of this, and with this, I'm gonna send you to your group so you can work together. Ready? Yes, yes. teacher. Okay, yes. picture number two. Ready? Yes. Yes. And the last picture, picture number three. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing, but you know what, here. It says make one sentences from the short ones. So here you have, for example, she worked for a man. The man used to be an athlete, okay? So you have these two uh, pieces of information make one sentence using a relative pronoun and becoming and using it as a relative clause. Do you understand what you're going to be working with? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. yes. I, do, I didn't hear that. Anna, you didn't hear the explanation, Anna Gloria? It's good. Okay, so yes. Anna, can, can you hear me again? Yes. Can you hear no, me now, Anna? The, the computer give me a message, your, your internet is bad. But, but the mine is good, but it's, uh, oh. for you, for, for it. My internet is working okay, okay. I think. Is everybody, uh, like, can you guys see me okay? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes, yes, yes teacher. teacher. All right. All right, Anna, I'm gonna go to your group so I can check, all right? So I'm gonna send everybody to your groups and then you can start working for, with those sentences, okay? Okay. Thank you. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Sahira. What happened? I don't know, teacher. Ah, la voy a volver a mover. I'm going to send you to another group. Don't worry okay. about it. All right. Try now. Okay.
Hi, Andrea. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi. Girls, do you have the pictures of the exercises? Yes, teacher. Yes, right. teacher. All right. So are you working individually or you're working together? Together. All right. Okay. Very good. If you have any questions, please let me know. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Holy. In house, mm -hmm. really. Okay. For customer light, the waitress. The waitress was very friendly. The customer likes the waitress. The, that was very friendly. Customer, the customer liked the waitress. Likes the waitress that uh, was very friendly. That was very like the waitress that was very bad. Okay, it works. Number five, we broke the computer. We broke the computer. The computer belonged. The computer is an object. That, that, that where belong it? We can use oh which. God. Which is true. Is which. We wrote it on which. Belong. Will, uh, belong to my heart. Okay. We broke okay. the computer which belongs to my father. It works. Great. And continue with the image number two. Okay, number six. Number six. Uh, I drove a glass. I drove a glass. The glass was new. Uh, that was I drove a glass that was new. Uh, new, uh, new, new is the right. Or uh, wish. I think it's wish. Was new. Uh, let's see if we switch. Mm -hmm. Which was new? Was okay. new. Okay. I drove a glass which was new. Okay, mm -hmm. it works. She loves books. She loves, loves books. 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 The books are very have have endings. Okay, books are objects that have end that that what have that.
Ah, oh, ya llegó Héctor. Hello, teacher. Ask. Hi, Héctor. Hi, Javier. We have a question, teacher. Yes, what's your question? Uh, we have Hi. a question. Yeah, you want to drive you, uh, Javier? <laughs> no, no, ask you. Uh, ask. Okay, uh, I have a question in a number nine and a number ten because uh, in, for me, for me, I don't know, I am committing a mistake. Uh, for me, it doesn't have sense if you say uh, in the number nine, for example, uh, the man uh, is in the garden who is wearing a jumper, a blue jumper. So for me, it has sense if you say the man who is in a garden is wearing a blue jumper. Is it correct or okay. I am wrong? You can change it that way also. Okay. Just All because right. I don't find the sense in a in a normal way all right so it doesn't say, make sense to you yeah yeah but i don't know if i am correct can you yeah. say me yeah you can say the man who is yeah. wearing a blue jumper is in the there are many ways to actually change that Hector. all right so the men it would be like the first part of your sentence but remember that right now what like according to the exercise oh. all right you are supposed to have the whole sentence Otherwise, it's a little bit different because uh -huh. otherwise you're just saying the man who is in the garden or who is wearing a blue jumper is in the garden or the man who is in the garden is wearing a blue jumper. All right. So the man, it would be like if you would take it, then if we're like we're making this exercise actor, uh -huh. the man would be sentence number one, which is too short for this type of exercise because we are combining two sentences. All right. That's why. We have made it this way. The man is in the garden. Sentence number one. It has a subject, it has a verb, and it has a complement. All right? And then you have the other part of your sentence or sentence number two, which is the same. The man is wearing a blue jumper. It's a perfect, they stand alone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, so yeah. that's why we are doing this exercise this way. Now, you can re-change it and redo it totally, Hector, if you do it the way you said, which is valid, but not in this type of exercise. You know what I'm okay. saying? Mm -hmm. All right, so, so, can I, so I cannot do it right now. I mean, you could. Or I mean, grammatically, you could do it, right? And I'll, I, I allow you to do it, but <laughs> but according to the exercise, uh -huh. that's why they have it like that. So you join it just like, you know, you just add the relative pronoun that is necessary for that sentence. Okay? Uh, okay, so uh, teacher, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't listen to you very well the last uh, word that you say, sorry. No, I, I, I can't remember what I said exactly, but what I'm saying is uh, uh, in this exercise, we're joining these two sentences together just by adding a relative pronoun. Am I frozen? Are you frozen? Who's frozen? <laughs> Javier, can you hear me? So, I yes. yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, Hector, go ahead. So uh, when when you are answering because my I don't know, I don't know what happened but so I cannot uh, finally finally I cannot yeah his internet is not helping him right now <laughs> uh, do that or you can you can actually do it but you're modifying the whole structure <laughs> so for example yeah can I do that or not. You for could, that, uh, yes, you for, can do it, but you're uh -huh. modifying everything. Ah, uh, right, right, right. Okay, right. yeah. So, yeah, but is it correct? <laughs> yeah, it or is, not? it is, or yes. Not? You can say the man who is wearing uh, a blue jumper is in the garden. The man who is in the garden is wearing a blue jumper. You can say that. It's correct. Uh, all right, all right, right. Mm -hmm. Just because I don't find the sense mm -hmm. in a... Uh, when I put uh, the relative pronoun uh, huh? between those two uh, after the after the garden <clears throat> and before 
yeah. of is wearing a cool jumper. Mm -hmm. And it's the same case in the number 10. If you see the girl works in a bank, the girl, uh, the girl is from India. So I formulate uh, the, the sentence, the girl okay. who works. Who works? In bank is in All right. India. All right, the girl works in a bank uh, who is from India. All right, the girl who works in a bank is from India. That's what you made. Uh huh. Yeah, it makes yeah. it makes much. It sounds better. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. yeah. When you say the girl who works in a bank is from India. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Sounds okay. better. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, uh, Hector and Javier. Javier, did you have any questions? No. No. So, You're fine. Yeah. So yeah. my case is <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Very good. Okay. Um, give me one more minute. I'm gonna check another group and then we're coming back. Did you finish the 15 sentences? Mm, no. No. Uh, oh, no. Okay, we, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, All right. Okay, that's fine. Thank okay. you. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay.
All right, guys, let's see. We're going to check the sentences right now. So we have number one. From number one to number five. Andrea, can you do number one for me, please? Um, can you just read how you have it? She worked for a man who used to be an athlete. Athlete, yes. He, uh, she worked for a man who used to be an athlete. Very good, thank you. Jennifer Torres, can you do number two? They call a lawyer who lives nearby. Yes, very good. Thank you, Jennifer. Very nice. Uh, Sahira, can you read three? Yes. Uh, I sent an email to my brother. Who? Yes. I live uh, my lives in Australia. Who lives in Australia? Very good. Thank you. All right. Next one. Let me see here. Mireya, can you do number four? Okay. The customer like the waitress who was very friendly. Very good, thank you. Ana Molina, can you do five? Okay, they broke the computer, we broke the computer which belonged to my father. Which belonged to my father or that belonged to my father. Thank you very much. All right, let's see. Ana Gloria, can you do, oops, Ana Gloria. Can you do number six, Ana Gloria? Ana Gloria, can you hear me? Your microphone is off, Ana Gloria. I dropped a glass which was new. <laughs> I dropped a glass which was new. Yeah, not a nice thing to do. Thank you. Very good. Nay, uh, Navy, can you do number seven? She loves books which have happy endings. <laughs> Very good, yes. Okay, and movies too, right? Very good. Hector, can you do number eight? No, you know what? Wait, Hector, you're going to do number nine. Hold on. No, wait. <laughs> uh, All right, let's see. Are you there? Can you do number eight? They live in a city which in the north which is in the north of England. Very good, thank you. All right, aha, uh -huh. Hector, can you do number nine? So, uh, the man who is in the garden is wearing a blue jumper. All right, someone else has it differently? Sorry? What? No, 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 uh, no. Um, anybody else has a different answer for that uh, one for number nine? Thank you, Hector. Or everybody yeah. got it that way? Uh, no, no. Uh -huh. Tell me. Okay, tell me how you have it. The man is in the garden who is wearing a blue jumper. All mm -hmm. right, okay. Anybody else? Yes. The same? It is same. It's the same? All right, okay, very good. Now, with Hector, and it was, who was with you, Hector? Javier, Javier. right? Yes, okay. Javier. So I was in their groups and they were saying, well, Hector was saying that doesn't really make sense to me. All right. Now, maybe it would make more sense, Hector, now that I'm reading it again, if you would have something else here also, you can say the man is in the garden who is wearing a blue, I mean, who's wearing a blue jumper. And then you continue saying something else that would make more sense to you. All right. But switching it the way Hector did and Javier, it's okay. The men who is in the garden is wearing a blue jumper, it could be, all right? That, that way could also be done, all right? Now, what happens is that you change the structure a little bit. You move things around a little bit more than the other ones, all right? That's why it's kind of like, mm, is that correct? It is correct, okay? But you're moving more things around than the other ones that we were doing. And the same thing happens to number 10. Javier, can you read number 10? A girl who works in a bank is from India. All right, so you can say the girl who works in a bank is from India. Another way to have that one? The girl who is from India works in a bank. Also, very good. The girl who works, uh, that who is from India works in a bank. Also could be that possibility. So if you okay. notice, in English, guys, we have many exceptions to the rule. 
All right, and we can make things, we can move things around as long as they make sense, it's okay. All right, you're following, you're using a relative pronoun, so you're using the relative clauses, all right? So that's okay, all right? It might sound different, but it's, it's okay. Number 11, let me see. Um, let me see, let me see who else. Um, Gabby, can you do number, oops, that's, yeah, number 11. Has three children who lives in Australia. Say it again. My sister mm -hmm. has three children who lives in Australia. Ah, all right, okay. Or how can we change that one? My sister My who lives sister in Australia lives. has three children. Also, or? My sister who has three children lives, lives in, Australia. in Australia. All right, so you can move things around, all right? And it's okay, very good. Number 12, uh, Aide, can you do number 12? The room who was wearing a blue shirt. Mm. All right, Some, someone else with number 12? The waiter who was rude was wearing a blue shirt. Okay, the waiter who was rude was wearing a blue shirt. But the waiter who was wearing a blue shirt was rude. Was rude. <laughs> Very good, yeah, you got it. Very good, number 13. Who can do 13 for me? The money which is in the kitchen belongs to John. All right, or? The money that belongs to you Excellent. is in the kitchen. Excellent, guys. Very good. You guys are super good at this. Very good. Number 14. The table got broken. That was my grandmother's. Okay. Or any other way to say it? The table that was my grandmother got broken. Also, very good. Or... Any the other possible? That, uh -huh. that that broken. Broken. Uh, the table that got broken was, was my, my grandmother's. All right, and another possibility. There's another one. There's another one. The, the table. table. Uh huh. Uh huh. Go ahead. Which, which was? Excellent. My grandmother's. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Got yes, broken. Got broken. Yeah. All right. The okay. table, which was my grandmother's, or that was my grandmother's, got broken. And the last one, guys. The the television that was about twenty years ago was a scanner. Excellent. Very good. All right. Nice. Very good, guys. All right. So um. We're going to stop right here right now. All right, so with this, I'm gonna be, let, let me just check something really quickly here before I say anything else. Yeah, this, is, this topic that we just saw is 3.9 on section three. After that, you have a knowledge check, which is 3.10, and then you have a reading exercise, okay? So that means that uh, tomorrow, we're going to continue with section four. Remember that yesterday we began it because I wasn't sure. I mean, I thought we this was covered before, all right? So that's why I went back to this topic today. But tomorrow we'll continue with section four, all right? Okay, guys, so thank you so much for joining me tonight. I will see you all tomorrow, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay, right, teacher. Bye, thank guys. You. Have a nice night. Bye. Rest. Bye. Good night. 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 Bye.